Cheryl has confirmed she will be releasing another single in March, following the criticism and charred struggle for her comeback song Love Made Me Do It. Speaking on Thursday's The One Show, the stunning songstress, 35, explained that her new track would be more up-tempo, and added that she is aiming for a release date in around two months' time. Cheryl also revealed that fans will get to see her take to the stage with her contestants on the live shows for The Greatest Dancer in the coming weeks. As Cheryl revealed her new single was already in the works, she told hosts Alex Jones and Matt Baker she was hoping it would be out in March-ish. When asked if it would be any slower than her previous song Love Made Me Do It, the star added she was aiming for it to be more up-tempo. Cheryl's second single will come after her comeback Love Made Me Do It was released in November, and despite a positive response from die-hard fans, it only reached number 19 in the UK charts. A sensational return to the X Factor to perform the track also earned mixed reviews from fans, as many viewers complained to have come that her performance was too raunchy for the pre-watershed slot. The news that Cheryl had another track in the works sent many fans into a tailspin taking to Twitter to eagerly await the day in March when it would finally be released, and post all manner of celebratory gifts. During the chat Cheryl also teased that she would take to the stage on The Greatest Dancer live shows, having been appearing on the dance series as a judge alongside Strictly Pro Odie Mabuse and Glee's Matthew Morrison. However it seemed that the news was a spoiler of sorts, as the mother of one quickly turned to Odie to ask whether she was allowed to reveal it. She said, I'm just sat there constantly like wowed, I never really think about my dance history, but when we get to the lives we're going to be dancing with our contestants. As she said to Odie am I allowed to say that? The South African pro added, well you've said it now. Cheryl also explained that she's been moved to tears by several of the stars after re-watching their auditions at home. Confessing co-host Jordan Banjo's reactions have also left her feeling emotional. When I watch the show back, watching Jordan, his facial expressions when he was like, I started crying, she said. I've already watched Thea and cry, but at home Jordan tipped me over the edge. Both she and Odie also touched on their recent frustration when ballet dancer Yasali Mergulayev failed to make it through to the next round, as he didn't receive enough votes from the studio audience. Cheryl explained, that was painful to watch at home. We don't know the percentages, and when I watched him back and saw how close it was it was painful. Ultimately when the show goes live in two weeks, then they get to choose the winner ultimately. They break their bodies some of these dancers are like athletes, they're training 12 hour days hating themselves, but it's just all for that passion. Odie added, we were talking about why didn't the Russian dancer go through, sometimes being technically correct doesn't connect to the people. When you look at the dad dancers they got people clapping they got people smiling. But despite Cheryl and Odie's close friendship the pair seem far from the same when it comes to naming dance icons. When asked who she would view as the greatest dancer in history, Cheryl said, You've got the obvious like Michael Jackson, but for me personally I love Beyonce. For me I love more performance respect so like the face the attitude as well as the dancing that really gives me. Stemming more from her ballroom and Latin background Odie added, I grew up in that world and we were really strong females and Shirley, Ballas, is one of them for me. My sister she was the first trainer I've ever had and she raised me, when I moved to Germany she took care of me as well. And after more than 15 years in show business Cheryl even offered some advice to a budding performer in the show's audience, as she deliberated whether to stay in mainstream school or attend an exclusive performing arts institution. The brunette beauty said, It depends how passionately you feel about it, if you're feeling strongly then you should go for it, just don't have doubts, just be sure. After the interview, presenter Alex Jones took to Instagram to share a sweet snap alongside Odie explaining that she and Cheryl had been chatting about their prospective sons. She wrote in the caption, Lovely to have these girls on tonight. The live final of At the Greatest Dancer sound amazing. Nice to compare notes on our little boys with at Cheryl official. P.S. This dress is not maternity but stretches with you, so a goodie for an expanding bump.